Yellowstone, the park that everyone talks about and one that many people travel miles and miles to see. As being national park lovers, this park was on our must-see list. Our travel nursing assignment landed us in Boise, Idaho, which is a bit over five hours from the park. So we thought this might be one of our only chances to lay eyes on this amazing place. So you know what we did. Today is a really exciting day because we're here in West Yellowstone in the state of Montana. We're about to head into the national park. We're going to be driving through Yellowstone on the south loop down into the Grand Tetons National Park because that's where our next campground will be. We'll be visiting both parks, so we're really excited because we haven't seen either of these, so it's gonna be a really fun day. So let's go. We just happened, we saw people like pulling off the side of the road. They were all excited. Sorry, I just got done running because I thought Sam would want to see it, but he doesn't, he's scared. I'm not scared. <laughs> I, I'm good, I, don't, I didn't come here to see bears. Anyways, we pulled off at Mount Haynes Overlook and the bear was right across the pond. You guys will see. But that's the first time I've ever seen a bear. That's really cool. What a freaking treat. A bear in two seconds later. A buffalo or a bison? It's probably a bison. We are just in luck. We literally just entered the park. We saw two huge animals in like 15 minutes. But I saw this thing the other day because the, on the news it was someone got mauled by a bison here on Monday and it's Thursday today Wednesday I don't know but also in that article it said that the bison here in Yellowstone are one of the only or if the only bison in the US that are 100% bison and not mixed with cattle so I thought that was pretty cool I had no idea So we pulled off to see the smoke. I guess from, I guess these are hot springs. I don't know. I'm hoping we get closer. I know there's some you can see. Well, we'll keep going. Let's go. You can see this boardwalk just kind of makes a big loop to see all the geysers, hot springs, there's like mud pots. This is really neat. So we are at a spring slash geyser that Kristen really wanted to see, but I have no idea what it's called. So we're at the Midway Geyser Basin, which holds the Grand Prismatic Spring the spring that everyone knows of Yellowstone by. Of course there's other geysers and springs and stuff in this little Midway Geyser Basin. So you just see all of them. Grand Prismatic Spring. It's almost like the uh, smoke is colored. So we just saw one of the most famous things you can see at Yellowstone and we gotta say we are really lucky with parking with the other way that Yellowstone has been uh, just got destruction earlier uh, this year or the fact that they've had to make reservations for the park. We got really lucky and it was amazing what we got to see. I've heard that people have had to park like miles. We were so lucky. It's definitely not crowded at the park today. So I don't know where we've been, but I just realized that the National Park System has an app. And for all the national parks, you can see information. 
and like download information about the park and then there's a GPS where you can see where you are in the park and then there's pinpoints on things that you can pull off to. So I just found this out. We've been to like so many national parks and never heard of it. But anyways, we just made it to the visitor center by Old Faithful and they predict that the Old Faithful is going to rep at 12.15 next and it's only 11.09 so we have about an hour. I might check out the visitor center and kind of see where we go to see the Old Faithful and just see what there is around here I guess. Making a quick stop in the general store because you gotta get a souvenir or are you really here? Got my goodies from the gift shop. Waiting on Old Faithful. We're getting close. In about 15 minutes we're gonna head that way. dot 12 15 like they predicted of course it can go off they say 10 minutes before or after but pretty cool these uh national park geologists they should really try to play the lottery they're they're, they're yeah. pretty good at guessing yeah. <laughs> feet are killing me he hates when i put my feet up here but i think he's gotten used to it no don't <laughs> If you're near the West Thumb area, definitely go take a look at it. You get the beautiful geyser hot spring view of what you know Yellowstone by, and then the Tetons in the background. So it's a nice mixture of both. We're definitely seeing some construction. I don't know if it was like general maintenance construction or if some of the south loop got some damage, but it's a good workaround. I mean, I, I see why they didn't need to close the south loop. Also, I ho overheard a park ranger say that they're opening up the north on Saturday. That was really quick. <laughs> We've arrived to our campsite in the Tetons. Sam's setting up the tent, I'm setting up food, getting that started. Riley's just hanging out and plan is we're just going to chill for the rest of the day and I'm starting to get a headache so it's going to be a lazy afternoon. How's the soup? Probably the best meal we've had. The soup is the best. And then the broccoli rice. We're in our little truck tent. It's a couple hours later and we're exhausted and I still have my headache. I think it's the camp smoke that happened to me when I was little when we went camping and that's why I hated it. I don't hate camping, I just, my head. It's been better experience than I thought it would be. Really? Mm-hmm. Got our bear spray and trash. <laughs> Riley's hanging out. The sun is not even set yet, and it's like, what time is 745. it? 7.45. 7.45. It's not set. All right, it's the next day, and we don't take this very lightly, because we wanted to have a full video of the Tetons as well, but we feel really bad. Our head hurts, both of ours. Yeah. Like crazy. So we decided to go home early without really exploring Grand Teton National Park. Travel isn't always sunshine and rainbows, and sometimes things don't go according to plan. So things that you plan for big extravagant road trips, you have to cancel them, and you have to kind of make do with what you've seen and what you do. So, My favorite saying is from Castaway, and it's, you never know what tomorrow's going to bring, and tomorrow's a new day. So we'll see you guys on the next big adventure.